Flora Plant TV. We are looking at easy breezy white and pink, which is in the back in all its glory. These plants have been around in the in this open tunnel in California uh, we, for a long time. We've we've been looking at these baskets again. Easy breezy is that extended garden performance in Lobularia where you get two weeks of additional flowering past the competition. We screen these in Texas and the Midwest and those hot, humid, high night temperatures to see that Easy Breezy will stay in color two weeks longer than the competition. And in California, this product where I'm at today is glorious. But today we're gonna to look at culture trial results from both Arroyo Grande and West Chicago, Illinois. So you can compare California growing to West Chicago, Illinois growing, um, both in spring. So we wanted to compare with a stick week and a target finish of uh, week six in, in Arroyo Grande, California in a court, easy breezy white and pink. So we stuck week 47, and the industry standard that we find actually in Lobularia is oftentimes two pinches. So we did two pinches in California, week 51 and week one, um, right at about the same time that we transplanted in that week 51 to week one range. So we had a, a finish of week six for a total of 11 uh, weeks of crop time from stick to finish. So a really fast turn in a court. And we did a whole bunch of different PGR applications to Easy Breezy White and Pink, just to see how they would react. But we bred both varieties to be a little more compact and more manageable than what's on the market today in Vegetative Lobularia. And what we found is we didn't need any PGRs for White or Pink when growing for that week six target in California. Now we had an average daily temperature of 64 degrees in the greenhouse, we grew them in the greenhouse. The low temps were hovering around 60 for the nighttime, and the highs were in the, the average of 70 for, for the daytime temperature. So not grown extremely cool, but also not grown very warm by any standards, kind of middle road. Uh, moles in California of light are always high. So in December, we had um, just around eight, a little higher than eight. January, we're in right at about the nine moles per day mark and February we were a little bit over 10 moles per day. So you can see the, the screenshots of what Easy Breezy white and pink look like uh, in, a, in a court and the great finish and branching that we got on that product. Again, with no PGR, just a double pinch. Now let's compare that to how the West Chicago culture trial was run. Um, similar time of year, also in courts, we had a stick of week one because West Chicago's season is a little bit later. We pinched uh, week six and transplanted week six, and we had to finish week 11. So week 11 gives us a total crop time of 10 weeks from stick to finish. And same performance, no need for PGRs with that um, reduced habit to some extent, a little more controlled habit. We found that we did not need the PGRs for white or pink. Now compare the growing conditions in West Chicago to California. They grew their uh, greenhouse rep of courts a little bit warmer. Their average daily temperature was a little higher at 68 degrees. The low was uh, mid 60s and the high was uh, for the day averages was more up in the 80s. So they were pushing them a little bit warmer in those spring greenhouses. They also had a darker condition. January, they only had 1.5 moles of light. February, they were getting up closer to around four. And finally in March, towards the end of the finish, they jumped up to nine moles to, of light, more similar to a California light condition as spring came on. But again, no PGRs needed for easy breezy white or pink. So you get that extended heat performance by two weeks and you've got a product that's super easy to produce in a court, no matter what climate you're growing in. So if you haven't tried easy breezy white and pink, get some today and check it out in your greenhouses. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned to more culture trial videos from Ball Flora Plant TV, uh, helping you become a great grower of Ball Flora Plant products.